You ready? We see your comments, we hear your frustrations, and we're here to help you stay creative. Don't worry, Joseph. This video is gonna help you try less hard to be unique, but still stay original. Don't sweat it, I underscore teleported underscore bread. I'm gonna show you my secrets to get anything sounding somewhat professional. And thank you, Steven. This video is gonna show you one of my favorite songwriting strategies, using loops to write songs extremely fast. Like Sonic the Hedgehog fast, but not that underwater level, no. We're staying above ground, collecting rings, and getting stuff done. <laughs> I'm in a mood now. <laughs> Let's get right into it, using loops to write songs quickly. The reason I like using loops is that it's extremely simple to use them as a bed to get your ideas down. Once you have an idea, it's super important to get it down fast. Like Sonic the, Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic. bed. So fast I can't even read! When you're focusing on little details when you have a potential idea, you're gonna lose momentum and get frustrated. With that in mind, let's start building a track. The first thing I like to do when I'm trying to get an idea going is to find an inspiring sound. This sound should feed my soul. and give me something to build off of. To do this, I'm gonna use Chromatic, which is a loop-based instrument from the good folks here at Lander. That'll let me easily customize and manipulate some really unique loops made by artists for artists. This is the very first time I'm using it, so I'm super excited to give it a try. Grab it here if you wanna follow along. So I can search based on mood. How am I feeling today? I do feel alive, that's always good. I, th I think I'm like a little bit more than chill. Bass pressure, you know I love some bass. Cinematic textures, that's cool. And then sets, okay. Pat Zik, lo-fi atmospheres by Elemental Sound, future bass, Apex Audio, chromatic disco, mmm, that might be my vibe. I feel like this guy right now. Cool. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> what are your favorite types of sounds to start with? Sometimes a sound just has like that magic that just like gives you a gut reaction. But for me, I think it's typically in the synth or guitar world. Or that. <laughs> it happened. It's happened. <laughs> um, I like the sound. But I'm curious about playing around with some of these black key effects to see how I can change it up. <laughs> oh, cool, reverse. Oh, doubles the speed. That gets half this. Okay. Ooh, I like that eighth note stutter. I'm gonna lay it down. Can I lay it down, Tim? Do it. Okay. I'm into it, you guys. Just like that, I've laid down this unique sound using one of the loops in Chromatic. Took like a minute and I'm ready to go. I wanna build a song around this. Let's do it. I've duplicated the Chromatic instrument. I wanna see what else is going on here. So I'll open that one up. I'm gonna loop this. So we've already got kind of a guitar happening. So maybe some synths. You know, I love some synths. Hmm, grills, let's see. Okay, these are cool, these might fit. Why do I love that? <laughs> I gotta go with it. <laughs> let's record it. stop on the ends. I love this thing. Can I have this? Do I get this for free? Yes. Sweet. We got two layers going. That kind of nostalgic guitar that I kind of messed with is super, super cool. It gives me the feelings. And then that kind of vocal sample is kind of also nostalgic in a haunting way. It's very, very cool. I really like them together. And I think I'm ready to maybe move on to some drums. Let's make a drums. <laughs> I'm gonna open another chromatic instrument and let's see what we've got going on for drums. Funky drummer, I mean, you've already sold me. Let's see, slow-mo kits. This is kind of cool, it's different. I'm intrigued. All right, let's play this loop. Oh yeah, I 
up. It already sounds so cool. I'm not supposed to talk at the same time as music, am I? <laughs> okay. I think the first one was perfect. Got some nice space to it, fun rhythm. Let's do it. And I wanna add that fill. Yeah. So I'm gonna shorten up our beat here and add in that fill at the end. Got a couple cool layers, got an awesome drum beat. I'm loving this. I think I want to maybe make my own bass line though. So I'm gonna get a bass instrument set up and start messing around. Okay, bass time. Bass time. So I found a bass sound that I really like from Yuhi. It's called flap bass. So you know it's good. Just gonna keep it super simple. Let those awesome bed tracks kind of speak for themselves. I don't think I'm gonna really quantize them. I'm gonna keep that human feel, AKA all of my messing up. Okay, my mistakes are pretty bad, hold on. <laughs> we got some guitar, we got this cool vocal loop, we got a great drum beat, got some unique bass, I mean, it's great. I think I wanna try jumping back into chromatic and seeing if there's any cool percussion, kind of high-end loops in there. Let's see, percussive motion. It's as if they knew. Kitchen toys, I mean. You had me at kitchen toys. Ooh. That's cool. I think I like this loop as is. It's definitely adding to the vibe of the song. I really like this. Let's lay it down. This is fun. Now that I've got a full loop going, I could use these layers to build out the other sections of the song. Thinking about arranging the whole song before you have any ideas down is super stressful. Hash out your ideas, get the energy going, and then use those layers to build out the rest of the sections. Huh? Magic? I think we have a pretty decent structure here. All right, so we've got this little four bar intro that's just hinting at some of the layers from the song. And we go right into a verse. Starts off with just the bass and the drums. Then we bring in the guitar, filter it out. We got a little pause right before the chorus kicks in. In the first chorus, we have all those layers in there, making it feel nice and full. Goes into verse two. Just a quick section with just the bass. A little drum fill. Bring in a few more layers to get us back into the chorus. We introduced a new layer, Flutie Loop. <laughs> and that continues into another chorus, into the outro. And ideally, whatever vocal would be happening on this track would just be getting bigger in energy, more layers, maybe some more harmonies. Hard stop, I'm into it. It can be really daunting to just sit down at a blank screen and just start writing a song. That's where instruments like chromatic can really help. Kickstart a fire under my booty. I know sometimes using loops can seem like cheating, but it's really just to help you get started, to help your unique ideas get flowing. What do you think? Do you use loops in your productions? Let me know in the comments below. Love you. This is my security blanket now. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Wow. You're using that one. Okay.